Hello everyone and welcome to Stokes Look at Crafting. Really kind of a getting started guide with crafting. My name is Chris. I'm Jeremy. Alright, um, now crafting it's not really our favorite subject. No, and I don't think that the whole system is implemented yet, but there has been a lot of confusion about how do I get started. Truth. So we're going to go ahead and give you just a quick little walkthrough how to get started. Now, just, there is a requirement before you can do crafting. Yeah, uh, given at about starting level four or five, Admiral Quinn will call you up. That's your, your first contact dude. Mm -hmm. And he'll just say, hey, we need you to go take care of this. It's a mission called Scientific Mandate, yep. I believe is the correct name for it. Yep. And it basically boils down to he wants you to go talk to a scientist. Let's go look at that. That scientist's name is Egg, mm. and he's located here at uh, Earth Star Base. You can see I'm here in front of the Admiral's office. I'll go show you how to find him real quickly. So this says you're leaving from after just visiting the Admiral. That's right. Um, Egg is located here in the middle of Earth Star Base. His name is actually Lieutenant Commander, I'm not how to, sure how to pronounce it, Egin, Egan, something mm. like that. Racist. He's this little, uh, little gray alien right over here. And uh, just click on that. Now, if you actually have the mission, he'll have an option for you, which basically will send you to Memory Alpha. Yeah. One of the main reasons we wanted to mention this is because a lot of people heard, well, Memory Alpha is for crafting, so I'll just go there. No, you have to visit this dude first. If you go to Memory Alpha without talking to him, you will not be able to progress. So uh, here we are me uh, entering Memory Alpha. Yeah, and so Memory Alpha is in the Alpha Centauri sector, so you mm -hmm. can bring that up on your uh, sector map, and you can find that. It's a quick turn around the corner from Sol Space. Yep, and I, you know, I was just thinking as we're approaching this, it's actually pretty near Romulan space, and I always thought it was funny that one of the most important installments is in near Romulan space. That's just asking for trouble. Yeah. But Jeremy reminded me that it's for all races, it not is. just people in the Federation. Right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and beam down and show you where to find your first contact <clears throat> here uh, at Memory Alpha. All righty. Um, this is, again, after you've already talked to Egg, he will send you to this person. I happen to think Memory Alpha is gorgeous. It really is. I really like the tile set of this. They also use it in a few Genesis uh, missions. The same tile set with different lighting. It's really cool looking. Yeah. So uh, it, she's right here in the lounge area. In the very gorgeous. cool lounge area. Look at that. It's just, this place is just awesome. I love it. <clears throat> You'll probably be able to find her very easy by the horde of people standing around her. Which, was, we're not there during closed beta. No. And so it actually was kind of hard to find her at it first. It was. Because for some reason she didn't have the thing above her head either. I don't know. She doesn't. With that. Because she's actually not a quest NPC, she's a shop. Wow, check out that person that has a really slick white outfit on their, uh, on their person there. Yeah, that see that? There. Wow, chicka, wow, wow. Sorry. A plus from us. Um, so, all right, so you, what you've ditched there is you talk to her and she's going to say, go south of here. She says, go south of here to put something in the receptacle. Now, yep. you turn around, Jeremy, go over there towards the trash can. Doo -doo, that's it. So that, that trash can looking, that trash can from the future is where you put something. Yep. And then um, you now can go out and get anomalies in space. Now, you know when you've entered a system and you've seen those little squiggly anomaly things mm -hmm. off, you want to collect those because that's what you basically feed into this system mm -hmm. to be able to spit something out. Now, have you done this much? Is there anything really awesome that spits out of this thing? Well, everything that you craft has a slightly better, like you can make uh, phaser arrays with an increased accuracy or crit chance or things like so that. So do you have anything equipped currently that you've crafted? Uh, no. Uh, see, I don't either, but I think I'm going to, <laughs> yeah. but I just haven't gotten around it's, to it. It seems really good for low-level stuff. We're hoping, we're hoping that you can uh, progress through this and make good gear for each tier as you level up. Yeah, we're... Um, I think so. All right, yeah. so that's our quick look at crafting. Now, we're kind of both not huge on crafting, yeah, because we're not totally ha happy with it, but we'd love to hear your thoughts. And, and this can... will get you started so you can experience it for yourself. Yeah, and, and then let us know what you think. Go mm -hmm. over to jupitercolony.com, and there's a section there just for stuff. Well, thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Check jupiterbroadcasting.com for future Star Trek Online tutorials.